Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today's video, I figured I'd do something kind of different and I would share <laughs> 10 truths that I've learned while in quarantine. And these are basically things that I've kind of learned as this last, I guess, seven or eight weeks has gone by. And I figured I'd share them with you because I'm, I'm not the only one that is feeling these. Okay, it's okay that you haven't accomplished very much. I don't know, when I first started this, I had a whole list of stuff I was going to get done. And I think I've done maybe two or three of those things. Maybe five or six if I'm really thinking about it. But I'm not, let's, I redid my resume. Um, I reorganized my hobby supplies. And today I fixed my command center. So yeah, I think I've done three big projects that I was wanting to do and I've got a few more to do. Okay, it's okay that your clothes don't fit perfectly. For me, I haven't even tried on my jeans. Um, I lost 20 pounds at my job. I have gained 11 of it back. And I am so afraid to try on my jeans. I don't think they're gonna fit anymore. <laughs> because they were fitting the way they were supposed to before I started the job they got laid too loose and now just where the weight gain is I don't think they're going to fit I've been living in yoga pants and baggy shirts but it's okay because I know when this all is over I'm probably going to get back to where I'm supposed to be or where I was because I'm moving more and I'm doing more <laughs> okay number three it's okay that there's more screen time I'm when I'm working I'm hardly ever, I'm hardly ever watch TV I hardly ever look at my phone I'm hardly ever on the computer and now I'm either on the phone on the computer or I'm watching TV I'm constantly, almost, I think it is almost constantly staring at a screen because even my workouts involve me looking at the TV or the computer. Number four, it's okay that you're slacking on chores. I have done two loads of laundry in the middle of all this. Other than the laundry motivation video I filmed at the beginning of this quarantine, I have done nothing. I cleaned my room once, and when I say cleaned my room, I mean actually dusted it, and that was it. And I've done two loads of laundry because I was running out of socks. <laughs> and I was running out of yoga pants. <laughs> okay. Number five. It's okay that you're not moving as much. And for me, I... This is the hardest one for me because I am so used to working out five days a week for an hour a day. So the fact that I'm not getting my 10,000 steps in every day, the fact that I'm not <laughs> working out every day for an hour is kind of driving me crazy. Number six. It's okay to let go of stuff. And this can mean anything from the plans you had made, your goals and resolutions you made at the beginning of the year. Because at this point, it's kind of just, you just kind of got to let it go. And this can even be personal stuff, um, actual items of stuff. It's just, Sometimes it's just okay to let it go. Sometimes you just don't need it. Okay, number seven is it's okay to not do stuff. And for me, this was kind of like the not moving as much. It's just, it's so hard for me to admit that I'm not doing stuff anymore. I'm not working out. I'm not getting up early. I'm not... I'm not the person that I was. This has changed me so much. And it's even the 
social media stuff. It's because I'm on YouTube, so I kind of feel like I have to interact. And there are just some days I just don't feel like interacting. There are just some days I don't feel like filming. And there are just some days I just don't feel like doing anything at all. And that's okay. Okay. Number eight. It's okay that not everything is going as planned. Okay, let's say it's, it's May. Um, I had plans for the end of this month. I had plans for the beginning of next month. And it's not going to happen. <laughs> And we honestly don't know when we're getting back to normal anyway, so. Because they did give a projection on when stuff was going to go back to normal for me, and that was June 15th, and I'm not crossing my fingers. Because you never know right now. Because when this originally started, it was supposed to be three weeks, and we are now on week seven, or week eight. I have no clue what week we are on. Yeah, we are on week eight. So, yeah, pretty much everything I had planned canceled. Not doing it, it's not happening. Okay, number nine is it's okay to let your emotions come through. I am one of those people. I try to be strong and then and I hold it together and then I just blow up and I've kind of learned through all of this time that we've been on this that maybe it's okay that I'm not holding it together as well as I thought I was or as well as I usually do because you just can't. Every now and then, you just have to have one of those days of your emotions are just going to be a little bit worse than others. And that is really hard for me because I'm not, I try to be super strong and then when I can't be, it pisses me off and I think that's why at this point I'm just letting, I'm just letting my emotions come through when they want to because I just don't feel like holding it back anymore because I can't okay number 10 my last truth it's okay to let go of social media for me when this started I was on Facebook and Instagram a lot more and now at this point it's kind of like I don't even care I try to check in at least once a week to make sure everybody knows that I'm still out there and I'm still okay. But at the same time, some people seem like they've got it all together. Other people are kind of like me and they're just kind of letting it go with the flow. And that's where I'm at. I'm just going to let it go. If I want to get on social media, I will. I'm probably not going to post anything. And if I do, it's probably some stupid meme. <laughs> or a stupid picture with whatever rant I want that day. But at this point, I'm not even worrying about it. Instagram is just there. Facebook is just there. And I'm not paying attention to it. Because while I want to, it makes me so mad sometimes. Because you have y'all, you have somehow you always have those people that, no matter what the situation is, that seem to have it all together. And I know it's probably not reality, but right now, when I'm not really sure what our reality is, I don't need it. So, that is it. Those are my 10 quarantine truths. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. 
Other than that, if you've not done so already, hit the red subscribe button down below. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.